Please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button for amazing content and of course heartwarming content because we talk about anything and everything that is heartwarming that is absolutely I thought I was wearing something at the gate <laughs> so don't forget to click that like and subscribe button guys and uh, if you are an existing family member if you've been here for so long thank you so much for coming back thank you so much for tuning into this video so today I have this little setup going on because I wanted to try something new um, and I have this little thing in my ear because I'm like trying to get you guys to hear me better I have not gotten a mic yet because I have not hit a thousand subscribers and four thousand you know the protocols and procedures so if you want me to get a good mic please help me out in that one by sharing these videos with people who you think would actually love to listen to them and people who you think actually these videos would be useful and helpful to you know what i mean so today i just want to talk about something really that i heard i heard it yesterday on tiktok and um um remember here we are a church we are a christian based channel so we are always um, humble, open and transparent and just like, just like Transformation Church, shout out to TC Church, um, TC Nation, yes. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things. I wanted firstly, like the whole topic today is about being in a relationship at a young age. So being in a, in a, uh, um, must I call it permanent? <laughs> Being in a in a stable relationship, in a in a yeah 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 for sure with that at a young age. So um, I saw this other video yesterday on TikTok where Michelle Obama was saying that um, she her heart breaks for the young nation because we are so quick to be um, we are so quick to give up. You know and my sister and i were actually having the very same conversation oh the coffee is back but i was too lazy to get the a mug so it's just a normal white mug anyway um so my sister and i were also talking about it like sometimes when the going gets tough that's when we want to give up doggy why are you barking <laughs> when the going gets tough that's when we want to give up, you know, that's when we want to be like, yeah, no, it's tough, so we're not going to do it. Whereas, I'm just going to take off my glasses. Whereas, um, we, that is where the breakthrough actually is, you know, sometimes our breakthrough lies in when it all starts getting really tough. So, Michelle Obama was saying something like, us young people, we're so quick to give up on our relationships, and we're so quick to be on some, nah, it's not going to work, it's not working, whereby... We forget that at that moment that is when our story could be changing that is when the breakthrough could be happening and it made me think about my relationship and I actually thought you know what let me do a video on this because it's very interesting to me that at the young age that I am God has already placed me in a long-term relationship that's the word in a long-term relationship you know God has already blessed me with a partner God has already blessed me with a family and other things I'm still working towards but the things that I specifically remember praying for as when I was a child God blessed me with because I grew up in an environment whereby I I saw how my the people around me were being treated and the first thing I prayed for was Lord help me or may I please have I was specific in that I was like may I please have Heavenly Father a loving partner may I please have love may I please experience that kind of love that I, I grew up seeing on TV not necessarily in my family so and that's exactly what my what God blessed me with God answered that specific prayer and the the only challenge is that do you give up too soon 
that is the, the challenging question because my relationship with my partner has been very rocky we've gone through so much you know you, you could actually say that we've we fought against the world and we fought amongst ourselves we fought but the the main the end goal was fighting to strengthen the relationship it was not fighting to break it was fighting to build it was fighting to get to know each other better it was fighting to get to know okay he likes this he doesn't like this i like that i don't like that it was fighting to you know to build so for me when michelle said young people give up too easily it hit a nerve because on the outside like if someone if i go to someone and say Oh, my partner and I went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but we are cool now. To them, it's like, yo, if it was me, I would have been gone a long time ago. Listen, when God places you in a position and God Himself, through the Holy Spirit, says to you, you're not going anywhere, then that's where you stay. No matter how tough it gets, because you are fighting to build. And for me, it's like, you take so much pride. You take so much pride in, oh, nah. Yay, bona! I'm gone. Five seconds. To say, eh, na, ya, woo. No. Nia. Because that kind of attitude, when I every time, choops, you're gone. Choops, you're gone. Choops, you're gone. That, that is like, oh, she's going. Okay. Blessing, go back to heaven. Oh, oh, she's going there too. Okay, no, blessing, back to heaven. Oh, oh, okay, she's she going there too. She's not about. There are places where you know. Yes, go. God tells you, God speaks to us. I think I've said this in a few of my videos that God speaks to us. God will tell you when it's time to go. God will show you when it's time to go. He will communicate. He won't just leave you to fight alone. And you will be able to know the difference between you fighting alone and you fighting with the Holy Spirit by your side. You will know the difference as long as you stay in your position of prayer and faith and obedience you will know when god is telling you stay or go you will know when god has sent down his arch archangel michael to come fight for you yes i'll be it that i'm not doing this alone because in that fight in that moment certain things that you'll be fighting for that you know are going to build the relationship are certain things that god will be answering in an instant you know so as young people like, I'm literally in my 20s. I'm still very young. But my relationship at this point, we are married. Like, <laughs> at this point, you know what I mean? And I'm so thankful about that because we understand, we are building. We are trying to understand each other. We are fighting to understand each other. We are fighting to understand this is his goals and dreams. This is my goals and dreams. You put them together, they actually align. That's how you know that it's actually a godly given relationship. So when that moment comes of having altercations and whatnot or sacrifices or compromises you do it with ease because you know that that's what that's where you are meant to be so for me i i came to do this video to let you guys realize that sometimes we give up too easily when the going gets tough we give up way too easily and then we expect things to just fall into place we expect things to just happen but we didn't do anything to help that happen we didn't do anything to give god a moment to let what we've been praying for happen like when when there's a certain there's a, there's a michelle obama said so, yeah she said this she said this hold on she said in a relationship there's going to come a time where you're going to realize it's not always going to be 50 50 Sometimes it's going to be 70-30, sometimes it's going to be 60-40, sometimes it's, it's even going to be 80-20. But because you love that person, because that's where God has placed you, and because you know that what love is according to the Bible, according to the word of God, you will know that, okay, now it's my turn to give 80 because 20 is all he can give. You give that 80. Now it's his turn to give 80 because he knows that 20 is all I can give. He gives that 80. We, just, we don't fall apart because now he's not giving me the 80 or it's not 50-50 anymore. No. So my advice to you is that when the going gets tough, stop going. Ask God, Father, must I go here? Or is there something left? And God will show you in an instant. God will show you in an instant that there's something left 
or let you must go. God will do it for you. Don't walk around in this world having that attitude of, ah, I'm God. I'm God. I'm God. What? What is that attitude going to do for you? When are you going to be ready to ever fight for your blessings if all you do is you just go? Yes, the floodgates of heaven are open. Blessings are falling down. But you know what? Let's be honest. Most of the blessings that we get in our lives, we need to fight for them. Because the enemy is not just sitting back on some, oh, she's getting blessings, good for her. Nah. Nah. No. No. So all I'm saying to you guys, young people, you're busy here complaining, hey, I'm waiting for my Mr. Right. Hey, there are videos going around, going viral on some, calling God to find out about us singles. What if God already gave you the person you're supposed to be with, but because you're looking at that person with earthly eyes, you're not seeing it. You're looking at that person with earthly eyes, so you're not seeing it. Look at that person with spiritual eyes. Ask what God's got to ask. Ask for God's, you know, facts on this person. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Give it to God, guys. Give it to God. Okay, so this is it from me. This is all I wanted to tell you is that relationships are not as glamorized as they seem. Yes, you don't always have to fight. You don't always have to fight. That's the beauty about a relationship that God has ordained. You don't always have to fight. You don't always have to fight. But you don't always, like, you can't just be giving up when you have to fight because there will come a time where you have to fight. You can't just give up. You need to get going. When the going gets tough, you also need to be like, ah, even me, I'm tough. I'm a daughter of the Most High God. I got this. Yeah. Who you think you are, Satan? Let God fight for you as well. The Word of God says, be courageous. He did not give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of courage. We are not to be fearing things we don't understand here. We are supposed to be courageous and trusting in God. Where he says go, you go. Where he says no, you don't. It's that simple in relationships too. If God says yes, it's yes. If God says no, it's no. Very simple. And the, the thing about faith is that where there is God's beauty, the devil will try to destroy it. Don't let him. Don't. But if you go around with that attitude of no, then... It's going to be destroyed. Anyway, this is all I had to say to you today. That's all that I had on my heart. And uh, I'm really happy that I could just get it out there. If you think I'm not making sense, please do comment down below. Like, you know, this is an open conversation. Y'all can say whatever you want to say. Um, just don't swear at me, please. <laughs> and uh, if you feel that, you know, what, someone needs to hear this, this whole situation, then please do remember this is from my life ex experience this is from my experience with my relationship with god so it's it's all a, it's all based on experience and i think experience is the best teacher of life so um so yeah like if if this video made sense to you and you think there's someone it will make sense to please do click on that share button please comment let me know what your thoughts are specifically on relationships and young people because we young people uh sometimes we get too lazy and we don't work or we don't want to fight and work for what we believe in and what we've been called to do or called to be and we must have a look into that it's very dangerous very very dangerous our blessings could just pass us by we won't even notice but yeah guys like i love you so much i love you with all of my heart and i hope that you guys enjoyed this little talk uh so yeah like feel free to browse around the channel and just mikasa sukasa eh See. Alright. Bye guys. God bless you. Mwah.